Amy Buendia Steven Gerrard is a winner he and the club have a lot of ambition. When Amy Buendia was 11, he received an offer he could not refuse, though it guaranteed pain and a fractured childhood. Would he leave his family in Argentina to sign for Real Madrid? He said yes, took the plane and found himself 12,000 kilometers from home, connected to his tearful parents only by phone. When Buendia reached 13, he was asking himself whether he was even good enough to be a professional footballer, merely a substitute for his age group team in Madrid, he fought an urge to quit and fly home. By 14, he had moved on to Hetafe, where an influential academy coach did not rate him and consigned him in the B youth team. By 20, he was on loan at Cultural Leonisa, playing for a little side newly promoted to Spain's second division. Each time there were doubts he kept going because of a mantra he voiced to himself during the bleakest moments of his development, no, Emmy, 12,000 kilometers, you left everyone to make this dream come true. I can't stop here. I fight. All this is why February 1st was a day of days, a day of firsts, for Aston Villa's soft-spoken but hard-minded magician. Argentina played Colombia in a World Cup qualifier in Córdoba and, 10 minutes from the end, the substitute board went up, Lionel Scaloni, coach of La Alba Celeste, was withdrawing Giovanni Lo Celso and sending Buendia on to the pitch. My first for the national team and the first game in my life playing in Argentina, my own country, Buendia says, eyes glowing as he relives the debut. When I heard the manager call me to come in and get ready, I think everything came into my head, every step of my life in football, my mum, my dad, Juan Snader, and everyone who has been important to me. And in the last, maybe, 30 seconds, waiting to get onto the field, I felt for the first time in football. Nervous. We did a piece last season when Buendia was in the Sky Bet Championship with Norwich City, and he revealed, then, his burning goal to become an Argentina player. I remember that interview because I don't do many, but we talked about my dreams, about representing my country. And today, I can say I did it, he says, smiling. Quiet, he may be. But Buendia holds inside of himself so much ambition, such willpower to keep striving and the memories of his difficult journey in football. They fuel him forwards, but at times make a combustible compound. This was the case when Villa played Brighton, Hove Albion in November and, at 0-0 with 16 minutes remaining, Buendia was substituted. He stomped off and punched his seat in the dugout. This was Steven Gerrard's first game and many new coaches would have perceived the opportunity for an easy win in terms of establishing their authority and condemned or even disciplined the player. Not Gerrard. Where others saw dissent, he saw a hot-blooded determination he liked and recognized from South Americans he played with. He would soon upgrade Buendia's importance to Villa's playing style, making him more a central fulcrum of their attack a role in which he has burgeoned, especially since Philippe Coutinho's arrival and Gerard's switch to a system based around two number 10. Villa's player of the month for January, Buendia is now behind only John McGinn for key passes, through balls, XA and completed passes into the box for his team. He admits that, after his £33 million move from Norwich, I had a struggle in the beginning. It was difficult for me, not in terms of settling down with the club, because everyone helped me a lot, but to feel comfortable on the pitch. However, as he has played more, and been given more responsibility under Gerard, I feel more comfortable, I feel I can trust more in everyone and they can trust in me. I think that's the reason why I had a good, that I enjoy my football a lot again. At Norwich, for whom he created more chances for teammates in one month than any player in Premier League history, Buendia developed an almost telepathic understanding with Timo Pucky. We played together for three years, and by the last year, he didn't need to see the other one's position. I knew, when I got the ball, he was running. When I arrived here, I spoke a lot with Ollie Watkins, and then with Danny Ings, and he came in, to get to know each other's game. I think in every game, we're getting more confident. His show of temper was a turning point. I really got, in that moment, the frustration of trying to be the best. I think that was a moment that changed my mindset, he says, after it. I think I have just been growing up and getting better in every way. He admits reflecting on his peak and saying to himself enough is enough. I want to help the team and show everyone the club made a good decision with myself to repay the confidence they showed in me. I watched my games back and didn't enjoy how I had played before. So that was a moment and now I can show people what I'm capable of doing. Gerard, who thinks Buendia has a similar nature to Javier Mascherano, spoke approvingly of Buendia's tendency to erupt when beaten in training. A tenacious little character. Gerard purred last week. Buendia says of his boss, he helped me a lot. From the first moment we had a chat and he spoke with me about his philosophy and style and it's the same style I enjoy. His mentality is as a winner and this is important. When he gives a message, I think every player believes in his word. There's a lot of ambition from him and the club. When Gerard recruited Coutinho on loan from Barcelona, many viewed it as bad news for Buendia, 
believing that Villa could not risk deploying two number 10. A very British view. Yes, Buendia says, smiling. We've shown we can play together. We're both South Americans, and he speaks Spanish. From the first moment, we had a good connection and good relationship. He's a special player, and I can learn a lot from him. I remember his time at Liverpool. He was one of the best in the world and he went to Barcelona and won a Champions League with Munich. I really watch him a lot. He's quite similar. We enjoy football in the same way. A bruised hip means a late call on whether Buendia plays away to Newcastle United, but he's desperate to continue to give back the love the Villa fans gave me. Their backing during his early season travails was amazing. Another excuse to play my best. His partner, Claudia, and their young sons, Thiago and Giovanni, have settled in Sutton Coldfield, helped by Emmy Martinez, who lives five minutes away. We found a beautiful family in Emmy Martinez's family, Buendia said. He helped a lot and his missus helped my missus. We have kids the same age. They can play together, go to school together, play football together. Everything is going well for us to be happy here.